Hello, children of God. Have you ever seen or perhaps experienced something unexpected? Something that didn't seem like it should go together? Maybe you know of a cat who's really good friends with a dog. Or maybe you've worn a red shirt with orange pants. Some people might not say that it really goes together. It might not be what you would expect, but sometimes odd, unexpected combinations can be good. For example, let's say that I took some frosting, delicious vanilla frosting. What do you think I would put this frosting on? Maybe a cake or a cupcake or a cookie or maybe even just straight on a spoon, who knows? But would you expect me to put this vanilla frosting on something like a cracker? A boring, bland, salty cracker with vanilla frosting? I mean, it's unexpected, but... Hmm. Not bad. Because see, when, when the sweet stuff goes on the salty stuff, it kind of makes it sweet. Or maybe even let's get really wild, but what if I put it on this block of cheese. Well, I mean, cheese is, is kind of boring. You would not expect cheese to go with frosting. Yeah. I'm not so sure it does. Maybe skip the cheese with the frosting, but you get the idea. The sweet on the not sweet, well, sometimes the unexpected can really change things up. You know, it's interesting to think of this, but love works the same way. Believe it or not, sometimes, sometimes love can alter things in unexpected ways and sweeten them up a bit. This is what Jesus talks to us about. In the Gospel of Luke, he shared some kind of unexpected advice with the people who were listening to him. Jesus said, it's great to love people who love you. But anyone can do that. Anyone can love someone who's nice back. But Jesus said, you know what I really want you to do is I want you to care about people who are not kind to you. I want you to love people who hate you. And if someone's mean to you, well, try being nice back. Which seems like a very bizarre instruction. I mean, if someone's mean to you, that should give you the right to be mean back, right? It doesn't seem to go together. It's quite unexpected to ask us to love someone who isn't kind to us. But Jesus said, pray for people who are trying to hurt you. Pray for people who aren't nice to you all the time. And love everyone. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. See, what Jesus is saying here is that he wants us to love everyone. Not just people that we get along with easily, but even people who are not so easy to love. And there's a few good reasons for that. For one thing, we know that God loves us. God loves all of us. He loves us even though we make mistakes. We sin, we do things that we shouldn't do, and God still loves us. God always loves us. And God loves everyone because we're all made in his image. So because God loves us and because God cares about other people, well, he wants us to care about other people too. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to let yourself get beat up or bend over backwards and be super nice to someone who's always being mean to you. Sometimes you have to have boundaries and you don't want to just let yourself get bullied. You can, you can defend yourself, but there are other ways that we can show love. You can pray for people, people you don't get along with so much. You can still pray for them. You can still think about them. And you know, sometimes, sometimes love is very simple. It might just be someone is making a mean face to you. Well, do the unexpected. Smile back. And sometimes that actually helps. Sometimes if someone is trying to get under your skin or do something unkind or say something mean, well, just try giving them back the opposite. Maybe they say a mean comment to you. Give them a compliment. Say something nice back to them. 
You never know what'll happen. They might just walk off, well, then they leave you alone. Or they might be so surprised, maybe they smile back. Sometimes when you give that sweet act, well, sometimes it can sweeten up even the saltiest person. It's unexpected, but it can change things. It can transform things in unexpected ways. So we're called to love those around us. People that do love us, people that don't love us. We're called to pray for them. We're called to be kind, even in the face of people who aren't being so kind to us. And you never know, sometimes when we act the opposite of how we kind of sort of feel, you might start feeling that way too. Or you might just learn that that person who you thought was mean, well, maybe they're not so mean after all. And you might just make a new friend from it. You never know. But Jesus wants us to love others, to love all of those around us, to care for those around us, and to be kind, whether it's expected or not. Because you just never know what could happen. It might not always work, or you might make a really great new connection and an unexpected but wonderful combination. So why don't we pray and ask God for help? Because sometimes we need a lot of help when it comes to loving others who aren't so easy to love. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for helping us do the unexpected. Please help us to trust in you. Help us to love others even when it's really difficult. And give us that love so we can be kind and care for all that you've created. Thank you for loving us. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hopefully that's one more idea to explain this somewhat perplexing but very important rule. We're called to love everyone, right, Fiona? Right, even the four-legged ones. Anyway. Come join us again because every week we have new messages and craft ideas that we'd love to share with you to bless you in your ministry, whoever and wherever it might be. That's not your cheese. Whatever. Anyway, have a great week. We'll see you next time. Go make some disciples.